Today's video shows two of my most recent visits, one to KY guest house and the other to the town of Villandi. This guest house is located in Polva County just beside the Yoxi Lake. I was here as part of a two day workshop so I didn't vlog much. But what stood out to me was the serenity around the space. There was simply calmness and stillness all around. Maybe it's about the lake and that's what I like the most. We went for a small boating on the lake uh, by around evening so you can see the dusk scenery in the background and all I can say is because there's not many people around all you can hear is just in nature and I simply loved it. This place was in literal shambles but this old lady purchased the place and her son and her together renovated the place and to see her growth to what it is as of now is incredible. One of my colleagues actually offered to take me to Willyandi which is her hometown and show the um, castle which is in ruins which uh, apparently has to be one of the uh, most significant thing in Viryandi so yeah we are actually headed there to get some lunch and then see the castle so I hope I can bring you guys along. A symbol of the five petal rose welcomes you to the town of Viryandi. reached there around lunch time our first stop was cafe felin for a quick bite of lunch on the way to the castle ruins is the saint john's church which was built during the medieval times and that could be seen with the very plain simplistic interiors we started off at the viewpoint um, before approaching the castle ruins where there was a very good view towards the Villiandi Lake and then we walked into the entrance of the castle ruins where also we could see the folk music center uh, at the entrance. This that we are seeing here is the traditional Estonian swing but a shorter version. This picture gives us an idea of as to how huge of a castle this was before being destroyed. Okay, we can see that these are the old, the ancient ones. Mm. These are definitely yeah. Fortification. This picture here shows the central stage, which usually comes alive during the Villandi Folk Music Festival, Good. which is something high around here. So yeah, uh, this is about the well hill and also sort of a good aerial view uh, but yeah in my footage you obviously cannot see all of this. So as you see not much of it remains and hence the name ruins but this suspension bridge was a beauty the least I can say and yeah this kind of winds up the castle ruins. We then had a short walk to visit the song festival grounds, the theatre and also the Paulose church which sadly was shut down for renovation so we couldn't visit the interior.
we then drove around the inner circle of the town uh, to see the guild we saw the town hall square and the town hall close by and also the old water tower of villiandi The star was reconstructed to now serve as an observation tower and from the topmost floor of the tower you can have a very good view uh, of the houses that lay on the hillside facing the lake Villiandi and also a good view of the whole Villiandi town so i would say that it is worth it to climb the entire fleet of stairs There's also a good collection of data about the birth of aviation in Villiandi and it was upon the special interest of the then mayor. So if you are an aviation enthusiast then you would also love this. Just beside the town hall is a very good view point um, and this overlooks the Lake Villiandi. So definitely there are uh, the houses of the elite that were built on the slopes and because they were built spanning different centuries there is very distinctive architecture that can be noticed. We then drove closer to the Villiandi lake where we could see the tennis courts and spots for various other activities and then I would say that we loosely drove around the outskirts of the town mainly to see uh, the different kinds of architecture that was involved.
and also we drove to the pala lake uh, which is an artificial lake so there were natural sources of water coming into this low lying area and also certain springs but they basically built a dam and blocked the entire um, section and now there is an artificial lake there which is enjoyed by the people around this area now all this information and this trip was made available to me thanks to my very good colleague Trino. Trino is the vice rector for education at the Estonian Aviation Academy and I must say that she did a great job of being a host. I learned a lot about the culture and the tradition of not just Viljandi but also entirety of Estonia. Not all of this information is included here in this video and that definitely is a good reason for you to visit Viljandi. And on that note, I would like to end this video and once again, heavy thanks to Trino for making all of this possible.